hello welcome back to the channel it has been a while happy new year although it's a little bit into the new year now as i'm recording this it's wednesday the 10th of january and new year i figured i need to get back on with the videos my intention if you don't know we've got some major renovation works going on i'm going to do a walk around in a minute my intention was, whilst these renovation works were going on, was that I was going to kind of document the renovation works, I was going to continue making videos and all the things, but that's just not happened because, I mean, it's just a lot. If you've ever had major renovation works, you will know. It's a lot. And I wouldn't, I mean, I'm not someone who really sort of gets stressed about things, but yeah, it, it has kind of been stress, not stressful. Stressful isn't really the word, but it's just, it's a lot to... <laughs> <laughs> to get on with um my intention was to kind of be in my van a bit and not have to live here like lara's lived down in london my son stephen is living at my sister's house and i am just kind of a floater my van has got in for repair that's a whole other thing it's a nightmare it's costing me a fortune to get my van sorted so i'm just sort of here there everywhere and it's been difficult uh but all that being said Let's do a little, hopefully the videos are going to be back in January. Um, I'm not really going places at the moment because of stuff going on here. I'm not really travelling much, but I'll do some little walk with me videos around local places maybe or whatever I do. Anyway, I want to do a little bit of a, just a walk around and document where we're up to with the house. And then going forward, I want to do one every week, every couple of weeks just to show where we're where we're up to so let's go i am currently i'm in my um it's like seven o'clock in the morning i've just got up i am sleeping here at the moment and it is an open house like we've got holes in walls and things and holes in the roof and it was like minus one last night it's pretty chilly but to be honest like this is where i'm sleeping and it's all right like i'm not cold like out and about it's cold but under here i've got like these little things they are so hot and i just sleep with them and it's no problem at all once you're actually in bed we did have over christmas lara came back from london for two weeks in fact she is still back and so stephen moved back here for a bit of time christmas eve was so nice we all stayed here so i stayed there stephen stayed there and then i've got this from the van bed that we pulled out for lara at christmas eve we had like a barbecue or like a campfire on the front, um, on the front. we were going to go in the back garden, but we couldn't go in the back garden because it was all boarded up. So we had the campfire and we had like marshmallows and toasted, um, not toast, yeah, toasted marshmallows and uh, what's the other thing? Chestnuts, roasted chestnuts and stuff. It was a lovely Christmas Eve. But anyway, let me go to, let's go to the front actually. This is the front. We haven't got any electricity other than this thing here they cocked up our electrics this was where an electric board thing used to be and one day months ago it was like smoking and like sparking so they had to cut all that off because through there is the garage and it was like it's open to the water so the only electric we have in the house is what they've put in here but this will we'll manage with sort of the lights that the builders have got. There's nothing going on in the porch. It's just the porch, the normal porch. There's some wood that the builders are using for um, to have fires to keep themselves warm. As you walk in the house, <laughs> this is what you can see at the moment. This is where the stairs are going to be at the moment. <laughs> That's our toilet. I'm so excited for the house being done. It's going to be so brilliant. And then through here, this area that is the living area where I am. But I say I'm living, like I'm just coming back in the evenings. I'm not here in the day when the builders are here. There we go. It keeps blowing up. I've got set up like a little kitchen station. The builders have brought a microwave, so I'm using the microwave. And we've got the air fryer, which is fine. And then like, I'm cooking at my sister's house and like just bringing things to heat up. This is, I've put, moved these doors here. These are Christmas lights that I put up. I'm going to leave them up, it's quite nice. 
the doors I put there to kind of, when I was here by myself it was alright, but then when my sister and Stephen came back, we needed like a space to block from the toilet, because obviously the toilet's all open back there, so I put those doors to create, um, create a wall, because people can't see us on the toilet. So yeah, this wall has moved in. You can see the wall used to be running down there. And this room was significantly bigger. We've brought the wall in. That wall, that door, on the plans initially, we weren't gonna, we were gonna leave that door in, but we've decided to block that door off. And so this room is just enclosed in itself, kind of like a little, we're thinking like a TV up on that wall, like a movie, little movie lounge type of thing. So then when you come in, stairs will be there, like I say, and then this will walk through into, oh, it's cold back here, into just a huge, big, open plan. This pillar is staying. It would have cost an absolute fortune to get rid of this pillar, so we are keeping it. I'm in two minds. Part of me sort of hates it. Part of me thinks it's probably quite nice to be able to separate the rooms out a little bit. We're going to have the kitchen here with an island in the middle, and then probably the dining area will be back there and then kind of sofas and things over that way. The back is going to have big bifold doors. See, this is at the back at the moment. So you we can't get out. It's all um it's like boarded up. So yeah, big bifold doors there. We are going to have a pillar again in the middle. Again, we could have got rid of that pillar, but fortune in terms of like steel supports and things so we've decided to keep it so it's going to be like two two bifold doors which i would have loved to just have one massive big um door going all the way across but no that is not in the budget whatsoever let me just spin it around and show you from this angle actually this is all wood down here that they're they're currently building the roof on the extension. That is taking a long time. I wish they could get a move on with that because it would be nice if it was on. At the moment, we're having dry weather. You can't really see anything because of the lights. But, yeah, that's the view. From this from this corner. Um, yeah, we've got dry weather at the moment, but beginning of January when it was raining all the time. Oh, my goodness. Lie in bed. And, oh, it's gone all dark. You lie in bed, so, like, toilets here this is where the stairs are going to be and there's holes in the in the ceiling up there straight out where you can see the sky and rain would just like pour in we try and catch it in a little um what's it called pan down there so you can see this bit that's where steve well that was steven's room his computer desk is up there you can see there's going to have to be, because the stairs will go up there, and in that room, there'll be like a little box bit where we'll need head height for the uh, for the stairs. So here, we're probably going to struggle to see. Let me try and turn this light around so we can get a bit more. Might have to grab that light and walk with it in here. The light fell. Let me pick it up. <laughs> that didn't work. Let's move this light. Bring it over here with us. So we can shine a little bit more light into this room, hopefully. This is open and probably soaking wet. Yeah, it's soaking wet. So this is how it is at the moment. This was ages ago. It used to be uh, part of the garage. But then my parents, back in the 90s, I think, early 90s, late 90s, made this into... It's been many things over the years, but I think it was a dining room, the last thing. It's always been a really cold horrible room really but our plan in here is to as you walk in there's not going to be a door here as you walk in there's going to be a door over here and there's going to be we're thinking a gym here we're not quite sure there's going to be a room here that we think we might turn into a gym we're not entirely entirely sure what it's going to be then there's going to be a utility space here and then turn left this door at the moment goes into the garage but that will be blocked off and there will be the downstairs toilet here. I'll just show you in here, although you're probably not going to be able to see because it will be dark. The light, the sun is starting to rise. 
Um, but yeah, you can see it's all open in here. This is the garage. It will still be the garage. The entrance will be here. I'll show you inside where that will come from. But it will be slightly shorter because we're going to steal some of the space for the bathroom. And then I'll just show you where the door is going to be for the garage. When you come in through the lounge, not through the lounge, through the front door, there's going to be a door here to access access the garage space. So that's the downstairs, that's where we're up to, they're the plans. Let's head upstairs, up these ladders, and hopefully the builders have got a light up there. Let's go and see. They have had a light, usually it just turns on when I do the plug, let me see. Oh yeah, they have got a light. Hang on, let me put this down whilst I get up the ladders. Don't want to fall. Plug a light in so you can see something. Whoa, there we go. This little light. So that's why I've just come up. Stairs will twist round, so they'll start there, twist, and then they'll sort of come up, I think, where the ladder is. Yeah where the ladder is. That used to be our airing cupboard. It's now a extra part of the hallway that the door is gonna be there to go into the additional bedroom that we're building and bathroom. And then the, the hallway, every time I come upstairs, I think, wow, the hallway is really quite big because there used to be, the stairs used to come up here and there used to be a wall here, like this is my bedroom, there used to be a wall here with a bookshelf where we put the kids' books and things. And taking that wall out and like it's really opened up the hallway. But anyway, here, this is Lara's bedroom that's pretty much staying the same. You can't really see much in here, but pretty much staying the same. We're just obviously decorating and stuff. Whoa! I had to open the door and it's not on its hinges. Um, <laughs> okay, this is the ensuite that was an ensuite already, and we're just keeping it. Whoa, let's push that door back up. That scared me. Um, yeah, so this room is staying, staying as is. There was built in. Oh, look at this, like old what's that called? Border paper stuff. Yeah, staying as is. Just ripped out the fitted wardrobes, kind of starting again with that, and then out here the cat the gate is on here because the cats have been in here sometimes during the day when the builders were here. This room, which is so much bigger, you can see we've like rebuilt the walls. This was a fostering bedroom. It's it's a really big bedroom to be honest. We keep going backwards and forwards. We've sort of settled on that this was going to stay a fostering bedroom, but now I'm up here. It's a really big bedroom. Um, it will probably stay as a fostering bedroom, to be honest, because the stairs used to come up here, so this wasn't part of the room. It used to have a little bit. You can see on the floor where the stairs would come up and it just had a little bit that jutted out there, and I would put, like, a child's bed in that section. But now we've taken away the stairs and moved the stairs. This bedroom really is quite a decent size because we're going to have one of the rooms upstairs it's like an office room um we were contemplating either this one or what was steven's bedroom that i can't show you because they've i don't know why they've done this but they've like i wanted to keep my doors and they put um screws in it to clo keep it closed like you've wrecked my door anyway uh, <laughs> Yeah, so that room is much bigger than it was. That's sort of where we're storing our stuff at the moment. And then they've changed this walkway. If you remember, it was kind of very like do do do, and 
it's a it's a what's it called like a diagonal wall which i don't know how i feel about if i'm honest but i think what i'll probably do is build something have something built in there so it does create just like a a diagonal walk through into this bedroom that is staying the same that is just all our junk at the moment it is just piled high of um of all our stuff there's nothing happening nothing new is happening in this room and then there's just oh my hands are getting cold now i'm out of my uh, out of my bed and walking around my bedroom is almost well it's staying the same other than um we've built this side you can see getting an ensuite in my bedroom so that will be nice and also actually in my bedroom these which to be honest makes this room quite significantly smaller than it was although it's a reasonable size bedroom this kind of walk-in wardrobe thing well it's not walking it's not that big but a, a wardrobe into the wall hopefully you can see that is is going to be taken away because that space is going to be given to what was Stephen's room potentially the new office so it will make this room a significantly smaller which is fine and then I'm hoping, it was a new idea of mine that I haven't put in planning permission for yet. My idea is to have a Juliet balcony here because we have the views over the fields and like sunrise is over there, it's beautiful. I thought if that could be Julia, a Juliet balcony, um, that would be really nice. But then I was talking to the builder potentially just to drop the window, either a Juliet balcony or to have a low window, not quite sure. I mean, I think I would prefer Juliet Balcony, but we will see. And then, yeah, the only room I can't show you is is in there, but nothing's happened in there. It's just Stephen's old bedroom. This is where the bathroom, the upstairs bathroom used to be, where that big hole is, was the upstairs bathroom. That was the bathroom window. So let me just head downstairs. Hello. You want to come up? <laughs> On your breakfast, you like where's she gone? I'm coming. Whoa, <laughs> all right. I feed you. So, there we go. That is where we're currently at. Oh, I do need to show you. It's too dark outside right now. The sun only rises at like half past eight. Like I say, it was seven o'clock when I started recording. Um, I'll show you the outside, like the extension. It seems to be taking so long just putting this bloody goddamn roof on this place. Once they put a roof on, it will be so much better. Seal it up a little bit, it's bonkers. But this is the outside. You can see, got scaffolding up, they've built the walls it's just getting this roof on like I say it just seems to be taking forever and ever to get this roof on I'm not quite sure why it's taking so long but anyway so that's the progress on the house that's where we're up to that's why there hasn't been any content on the on this channel for a little while uh, thank you for any messages a few of you have messaged me like oh miss you where are you and stuff thank you for that that was lovely and we're, we're all fine just this is going on uh, I have been like working hard on I've got now got a blog I'll link it down below it's just green on adventure I've been working a lot on that and just doing little bits and bobs to try and earn some money to pay for this thing <laughs> whilst because I can't foster obviously at the moment so it's been a bit chaotic and well a lot chaotic and busy around here <laughs> for the last couple of months but thank you so much for watching this video like I say my plan is to update these every so often with the progress but for now thank you and i will see you soon bye